can't fit my damn Duramax in the garage. It is too big. Good afternoon guys and welcome to the channel. Today I've got lots of fun things planned for Mad Max. I'm gonna continue on my journey to rust prevention undercoating the truck as well as removing the side moldings. And I also have to clean my garage as it's kind of dirty. Um, I think that the garage now is probably the worst condition it's been in since I moved here. Just look, I mean, I've got stuff everywhere. I have to definitely clean this stuff up. My brother's gonna help me go through and kind of organize the mess I got in here. Also, it'd be great to get the Integra on the road. Maybe not in this video, but in an upcoming video, we'll hit the road in the Integra, get some VTEC going on, and have some JDM love. So as far as Mad Max, I love how that tip looks. You can see it from here, it's huge. I put the tip on in the last video, as well as blacking everything out. Still gotta continue with the rust prevention, which I'm gonna get started on now. It really is a great day here today. Uh, temperature wise, uh, I'd say it's about 75 degrees, which is perfect for working on a vehicle. So I'm gonna get started. So there you go, guys. There is the mammoth eight inch tip that we installed in the last video. It definitely makes the exhaust much louder. You could think of it as like a megaphone or a trumpet, like a horn, like an air horn, almost similar, I guess, sort of idea uh, as it's much bigger, so it amplifies uh, the exhaust note. And it's definitely uh, a lot louder. Um, in the truck, out of the truck, doesn't matter. It sounds better and is louder, so no complaints there. But definitely gotta get rid of some of the rust under the truck. And uh, over here, I have to finish with the rust coating. And I'm removing these. These moldings are coming completely off and I'm blacking out the lettering on the truck. So the only thing in the entire truck that won't be blacked out today is the door handles. That's it. So the driver's side rear door is complete, all polished and waxed, all glue removed. And you can see how shiny it looks compared to the driver door, which still has residue. You can use a rubber wheel from 3M, you put it on your drill, it spins around, or a pencil eraser. Not the one that you use to remove pen, the one that you use to remove lead. Like, you're not gonna use the scratchy, kind of dusty erasers that you try to remove pen with, which doesn't work anyway, but you're gonna use uh, a pencil eraser to remove this, or you could use what I'm using here, which is the factory rubber uh, brake pedal off my Durango. It's a very soft rubber, uh, and you could just basically rub the glue off, or you can get the rubber wheel, or use those long diagonal cut pencil erasers, which are rubber as well. And if you see right here, you just rub back and forth, and you'll see the glue is coming off, and it's not scratching the paint, and I can prove it by showing you the door there. There's no scratches. Um, you're just gonna remove it like this. And you can see it's removing all the residue. And you're gonna have a little bit of this residue left. You're gonna have to use like a sort of uh, compound cream to get off. That's what I'm using. Compound cream after I use the rubber to get the remaining portions of this glue off. And once that's done, I wash the door. I'm gonna use some scratch remover after that to make sure all the scratches and swirls are out. I'm gonna use a scratch remover uh, after that. Uh, and once I'm done, then I'm going to use my dual orbiting buffer. Right there, you can see the difference between the panels. It's just so much better on the rear door. So I've stepped back to show you guys what it looks like. I think it looks way better without the molding. It's so much cleaner. Uh, it gives the body panels more of a flow, if you ask me. I, I like it much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this other molding uh, and clean it up so this way it matches the back. Truck is getting the love that it needed from the original owner and did not. I don't know why he would treat a truck like this, but I am fixing it all up and I think it looks pretty badass. That's just my opinion. Uh, we're gonna continue with this journey and then at some point or another, uh, we'll actually be finished. So you can see here is the rust on the frame rail on the driver's side. It's a lot of surface rust. Little by little, it's getting done. I'm gonna go over here to passenger side and you'll see that the rail is now rust sealed and looks a lot better. Back here, you can see all the rust on Mad Max. A lot of surface rust that needs to get treated, so I'm gonna have to spray up in here. Pretty much everywhere is going to get rust treated this way. The truck will last longer. 
So you can see everything's coming along. Everything looks fantastic. I also have to coat. So I have to coat the side of the frame rails over here so you don't see them since the truck is so high. So the neighborhood kids stop by to uh, check out the truck. Every time they drive by on their bikes, they're always like, hey, Corey, uh, like the truck. You could say hi. Uh, hi. Uh, what do you guys think of the exhaust tip when you first I saw like it? it? I like it. Is it big? Yes. Yeah. It's huge, right? Yeah. It is pretty damn big. I mean, you could look at it like this is an extended ratchet and huge hammer. I mean, it's way bigger than my hand and it really doesn't look that big compared to the tip. I mean, like, look at that. Um, this is a size of a regular brake pedal cover, I, it and it just, like it. <laughs> it just, it's just it's huge. Like two times the size of it. Yeah, I mean, I think 10 might look okay on the truck uh, because it's lifted, and because the tires and wheels are huge, I might be able to get away with a 10. I think eight's perfect, but uh, my brother and I have come to the agreement that if I lift the truck more, four more inches or five more inches and make it even bigger, then I would probably have to go with a 10 inch tip, just for the simple fact that uh, the tip would look puny on a truck that big. But what do you guys think? Is it huge? I like it, yes. See, on the Hellcat, that's a four inch tip. It See how little those tips are? Yeah. And look how big that one is? You can fit two of them in there. Yeah. Also, the uh, Hellcat does look kind of tiny compared to uh, the truck. Like, as far as height, I didn't realize yeah. how low my Hellcat was. But Imagine I could. Imagine you put that more suspension on that. Yeah, I know, right? I, could, I couldn't even get under the Hellcat right now to barely do anything in the back end. Funny, go to uh, the southern states, and what you just said is what you'll see all around places like North Carolina. That's I love that North Carolina. Cars like this with rims and not tires like that, but rims bigger than these two put together and they're chrome and they'll be driving down. The guys can't even yeah. turn. They're trying to turn and they have to, it takes them like 400 feet just to turn around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they make these big, huge uh, turns. It look, it's like they're an 18 wheeler semi or something and uh, <laughs> they're only in a sedan. We're just working on these moldings. So we're gonna get back to work. The neighborhood kids have stopped by. My brother and I are to work and then maybe playing some battlefield or something. Definitely. So here it is, day number two. It was too dark last night to show you guys how it turned out. You can see it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I just have to go over the car one more time with some polish compound and wax and make everything look perfect. So you can see it looks a lot better with the chrome and black molding that goes across the doors. Gives it a much more flush appearance and just a lot cleaner if you ask me. I absolutely love it. With a little bit of pressure on it, the tape will start to give away. One letter down. So we're here late at night, still working on the truck, getting the Denali lettering off. You can see all kinds of glue left over. We're deleting everything. It's really dark out here. Are you having fun in the middle of the night? We're supposed to be inside yeah. jamming out to some battlefield, yet we're still out here working on the truck constantly. It's, it's, it's monotonous. Fun. It's very monotonous. Yeah. And you can see there's a lot of humidity in the air. The Hellcat has all kinds of moisture you could see on the roof. Sweating um, balls out here. Mosquitoes don't make it nice either. Oh yeah, no, they definitely oh. don't. We're still getting this done one way or another. It's coming out. I'll show you guys the other side in a minute once we're done over here. But so heat up the lettering and get those off. The only chrome left on the truck is that. That's it, just the handles, right? Yeah, get rid of this chrome shit. <laughs> yeah, right? They, they do look all right, I think. The only thing gonna be chrome is just the handles. Um, and our teeth. 
<laughs> We're gonna have chrome teeth. Chrome teeth. <laughs> He's gonna have chrome teeth, <laughs> just like his chrome little earrings over here. But in any case, titanium. Actually, believe it or not. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Titanium earrings. But yeah, we're gonna get this off. Just getting her done right here, right? Get her done. Get her done. Driving in the Hellcat, going to Wally World. Have to go there to fix a problem with the buffer. Mad Max is still at the house. You can blame this asshole right here for the sponge being destroyed and the buffer not working. He drops it and then it breaks and then... Uh, <laughs> oh, you guys just missed a bunch of good content there. Yeah, my brother drops the polisher and it breaks and so now I have to replace it. Oh yeah. He did. I did, I threw it. I got, I got mad and I was like, you know what, this buffer is not working, so... Now we're at Wally World and we're going to get a Powerball for the wheels some scratch X. Anyway, we're at Walmart, and my brother right now um, has admitted destroying my buffer by accident, maybe. I don't know if it's on purpose or by accident, but he dropped it With and broke beer. it. There's a really nice murdered out Tesla. It's too bad this doesn't burn good old American gasoline. What a waste. Yep, what a waste. I mean, they're all right. I mean, it looks all right if you want to get unlimited mileage to the gallon. It'll be wonderful until your battery's done, right? Yep, and you want to not, and you want to be castrated while you're driving it. Yeah, we should definitely buy one. Yeah, I mean it's it's all right if you're, uh, you know, wanting to have a rolling vagina down the highway. Yeah, if you're a tree hugging hippie. Yeah, I mean it's okay for old people who don't ever want to pay for gas. Now, let me explain this. Not if that you're I not looking to get any type of ass or vagina. Yeah, then you definitely want that vehicle. Look, I'll, I'll make it as simple as I possibly can. Okay, as simple as I can. They say on the Tesla sticker, on the invoice, that you're gonna save a certain amount of gasoline or the cost of fuel over a certain amount of years. The problem with that is, is that you can get, for example, we're just gonna compare it, a Charger Hellcat, which will get about 25 in the highway, 20 in the city if you're not getting on it. Okay, let's just say you're not getting on it. And of course we know you will be. He would, I do. Of course. But let's just say you're not getting ours. Let's just say you save six grand over five years. The average person spends 200 bucks a month on fuel. So that's 2,400 a year. Uh, that's about 7,500 over three years. Most people own a car for three years. That seems to be about the going rate, especially for a lease in New York, New Jersey area in the Northeast. So let's just say, right, that we're saying $7,500 no, right. over three years. Okay, you can get a Charger Hellcat for 71,000 and that's like the most expensive Charger you can get. Challenger's a little less. If you don't get the Hellcat, you save money. Even the Red Eye, 80 grand, okay? Even the Demon, 85. Even the Trackhawk maxed out at 100. A Tesla P100D uh, is going to run about $130,000, everything in it. I could be a little off, but it's right around 125, 130. So with a Hellcat, you're saving 50 grand. So over three years, you save $7,500 in fuel, but you spent you spent 50 grand more, so in reality, you spent 40 grand more to have the Tesla. Triple the amount in gas that you'd normally spend if you bought a gas guzzler. Come right. on, people. Exactly, so in reality, you're not saving a dime. In fact, for the cost of a Tesla, you could go out and buy a $120,000 car plus fuel and be at the 140 mark in three years. This rant basically started because we saw that murdered out Tesla and it reminded us of how much we actually hated that car and driver video we watched where they compared the Hellcat Charger to the Tesla. Yeah. And it was basically a really retarded review to watch Look, I, because <laughs> the difference between the two in speed was so minute for the amount of money yeah. margin gap between the two of them it's not worth it by any means yeah in the quarter mile the tesla beat it by a car length and the hellcat ran an 11 30 which in reality with a good driver and, and better tires would have ran a little bit lower of an 11 which it, means it would have beaten the tesla uh, a good driver with slicks on a stock hellcat will be side by side a p100d now they're fast he mod them got them out blah 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 whatever this is not a hate video i love it the tesla's murdered i think it looks absolutely gorgeous but the fact of the matter is it's not a Hellcat. It doesn't have the performance of the Hellcat. The SRT pages, this is not a review of the Hellcat. I've already done that. It's just, I saw it there and I remembered all these comparisons. I got all leather, a comfortable ride. It runs on good old fashioned American gasoline. And no matter what amount of gas I spend, over the course of three to five years, I'm still gonna be 20,000 plus up on the Tesla. And this sounds a hell of a lot better. I'm sure all my subscribers watching this are gonna agree. So at the end of the day, it's each to their own. But 
Tesla tries to market that car over there like it's gonna save you a fortune on fuel and whatever it saves you on fuel, it's gonna cost you 10 times more for the vehicle, so it's bad marketing. Actually, it's genius marketing, but only idiots fall for that crap because the car just plain out sucks. It looks okay. I wouldn't be caught dead driving one. That's just a plain old fact. You know what, you know what? You said it's not gonna be a hate video on Tesla, but let me, let me just say, my personal opinion is going to be hate. I like the good old fashioned measurement in horsepower, okay? Not gigajoules, okay? I, <laughs> gigajoules. I don't want to measure in wattage, okay? Not 1.21 gigawatts, okay? A bolt of lightning that makes my car run, okay? It's not back to the future. Yeah, I know. I don't want to run an electric car. Great, there's guys out there running fast times an electric car. Wonderful. That's not me. Hellcat's so dirty, bro. It's so damn dirty. Oh yeah, let's go inside, get this Powerball scratch X. Oh my lord, and, and get, oh, you know what? I forgot the stuff in the back of the car. See, I told you, I knew I would forget something. Here is the polisher I'm using. I know a lot of guys are gonna say, hey, why are you using that crappy polisher? Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really don't like the wrap over sponges uh, or the bonnets with the elastics, but that's what this came with. You can remove this. It's a standard quarter 20 and put a Velcro one on and then you can get Chemical Guys uh, polishing pads on Amazon or something like that. A dual action polisher is what you need, like I've said many times, to polish your car or truck. Uh, it's just the best way to do it. And there's no need to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on Amazon. I can promise you guys, I ran a body shop for years. My brother and I painted cars for years and this will do the job that any of the big brands dual actions will do. Longevity is the only question I truly have because as far as getting the job done, it gets the job done, right? Oh, I mean, definitely. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, they just don't sell the sponges. They only sell the bonnets here, which I think that really sucks if you ask me. Uh, probably get another set of bonnets. This way I can remove the wax uh, much faster. So that's what I'm gonna work on right now. Gotta get, one of the mother's power cone or power balls for the wheels, so that's what's next. Okay, late night out here with the Duramax. We're going over to the car wash to get out of this damn dew so I can finish waxing the truck. We are done with all this very monotonous work, I must say, of getting the letters and the badges and the moldings off the side of the truck. It is one hell of a job. If you guys are ever attempting something like that, just know the work you're in for as it can leave all kinds of glue behind, which turns into a hellish nightmare and it really just plain out sucks. So we're gonna do a cold start on the Duramax really late at night, but it sounds great. Yep, it looks great. It looks fantastic, it always does. text a lot all right let's yes, go I yes i do here we are at the car wash got like a hundred foot of extensions so that we can buff where there's nice light because i can't fit my damn duramax in the garage it is too big this is eye level like i've said many times and i'm six foot tall so like there's just no way that that up there has got to be an eight and a half foot roof let me see uh i'm six foot tall Seven, it's about a seven and a half, seven and three quarter roof is what that is. It's all, it's pushing close to eight foot. And I think my garage door is seven foot and some change. I'll never get this truck in the garage. So we're gonna do it right here. Let's get it done.
All right, you can see Mad Max looks great. Look at that black paint. Unfrigging believable. Everything is clean. What do you guys think? I think it looks amazing. Uh, it's just so damn clean. I really didn't want to end the vlog washing it in the dark, but we're gonna definitely get back to the house and do some hanging out. But what do you guys think? I think it looks great with the letters and the molding gone. Everything's super shiny. Very clean. Very clean, like spotless. There's no badges yeah, very, anywhere. Very cleanly murdered, I think. Yeah, the only chrome are the handles. Everything else is murdered out and tinted, and I think that it looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's definitely amazing, that's for damn sure. Well, that is gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We finally got all the molding removed, as well as the lettering, cleaned everything up. I think it looks so much better. There's no chrome except the door handles. Don't forget, check out the store, drivewaydemons.com. Get your t-shirts, key tags, and hoodies there to support the channel, drivewaydemons.com. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below. What do you guys think, removing all the chrome? The lettering, the molding, as well as blacking out the front grills. I think it looks so much better, but I would love to hear what you guys think. For all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for watching all my videos. I have lots of stuff to come for you guys. So much content for Mad Max on the way, as well as the Hellcat. But until the next video, take care and have a great night.